Hey guys, um, sorry the light is very poor in this room, um, I want to conserve some light, um, but anyway, the, the, I'm making a video on health factors for bearded dragons and other reptiles, etc., what not to do with their setup, um, what to do if it's happening, or how to avoid it. This mainly points out for bearded dragons in this case because um, that's all I have. Um, and mainly it's going to be about laying out the setup, proper bedding, what not to do with the bedding, what not to do with your reptile, with the particular setup. So really like, you don't, when you have loose substrate, you really don't want to move it that much. Like for instance, if you ever leave your bearded dragon in the terrarium, or vivarium, or whatever you want to call it, um, you really should not rough up the the sand or the eco earth or any other loose substrate because what could happen is it could get in the nose, the ears or even the eyes. It could cause some eye infection, um, ear infection and it could affect the breathing, get in the lungs, it could get in the cancer stuff, all that. Um all the bad stuff you really do not want. If you're gonna do that, just switch to paper towel. Um, that's why I prefer all you uh, beginner reptile keepers to use a not loose substrate. The least you could use is maybe even like pebbles, but uh, sand, eco earth. I do not suggest. Yeah, sorry, suggest for younger people like uh, maybe seven-year-olds, I really don't suggest doing that because you never know. Otherwise, it's fine. Just be very careful. When you're cleaning the cage, take them out. Maybe put them in a different bin because I have several bins I use to clean them, feed them, and uh, so on. And that's when I clean the cage. So no harm is done. Uh, also, another thing you want to do is you want to make the cage relatively damp every time you clean it. This avoids uh, sand and dust molecules to fly around everywhere, get in the eyes. So maybe once a week for every reptile, no matter what it is, um, spray the cage down. Not thoroughly, but just give it a couple squirts. That's it. Um, so that's m the the main... Uh, Main thing I want to talk about right now, um, and if you have a problem for bearded dragon, another reptile, etc., and it has like a eye problem with, if it has an eye problem, ear infection, nose problem, while you're having loose substrate, remove the loose substrate immediately because you really don't want to make it worse. This should be like an automatic like uh this should come to you like naturally just remove whatever you think the problem is just the way our brains work so it's just going to be a reflex to remove the loose substrate and put in paper towel towel whatever you'd like so that's the main um I really wanted to talk about today because I see a lot of the people, their bearded dragons, other reptiles have problems. They're using loose substrate. Even even diff yeah sorry even different problems from what I'm talking about could maybe be affected also with loose substrate. So really, I only recommend loose substrate for adult bearded dragons that are very healthy. Do not have any lung issues. Do not have any liver issues. Do not have any ear infections, eye infections, nose infections, respiratory, whatever, whatever. Um, so that's really it. Hope you all make good decisions. Uh, be decisive. Catch you all later.